everyone, it's Mark at Intomobile.com and today we're going to take a quick look at the, um, the new update for Twitter for iPhone. Now, normally when we see updates for Twitter for iPhone, they're usually minor bug fixes and we don't actually see um, any changes in the, in the UI or the, um, or the overall appearance. But this time, there are a number of small changes, or actually pretty big changes. And the first you'll see when you open up the app is the uh, trending topics. There's now a trending topics bar. Whenever uh, your timeline refreshes, you'll, it'll, it'll show up at the top, or whenever you scroll up to the top of your main timeline. So when you go into, when you're going to at replies, you don't see it there. So, before, whenever you wanted to see trending topics, you had to go into search. And you would see them all right there. See, there's McLobster, which I hope happens. Google Hotspot, that's a promoted tweet. Now, as you'll notice here, the, uh, the bar kind of gets in the way a little bit. It blocks some of that text. So you have to scroll to get it out of the way. And if you're accustomed to the look of Twitter for iPhone before the update, you might think it's a little bit unattractive. I think it's unattractive, and um, I really don't follow trending topics all that much, so I guess now I'll be forced to. But uh, I'm sure it's something I can get used to. Another change is the composition screen. When you open up the composition screen, you'll notice this new bar here, and it has uh, the at replies, hashtags, photos, you can uh, insert photos or videos, and your location. Um, so you'll no longer have to pull up the menu to perform any of these actions. Now the cool thing is that when you hit the at reply button, a list, your, your friends list will show up with the most recent people you at replied up top. Uh, so that, uh, you know, um, if you're looking for someone to send a reply to or, or a public message, you can just hit the at button and your list will pop up here. It could become a little tedious and inconvenient if you're following hundreds or thousands of people. But the nice thing is if you start typing someone's name, like I'll type Will's name here. See, I, I press W and, and there's Will Park. All i got to do is tap it and it's done. Now I can send Will a message if I wanted to. But I don't want to. A new feature also is Find Friends. When you hit Find Friends, Twitter for iPhone will give your uh, contacts list on your phone a quick scan, and it'll show all your friends on there who are using Twitter but that you're not following yet. So you can follow them all individually or hit Follow All and follow them all at the same time. Uh, some of these people I didn't know were on Twitter, so maybe I'll start following them a little bit later. That's really about it. Uh, Twitter says that there are some bug fixes, so hopefully that fixes that pesky DM bug where you'd open the app, you'd see the uh, notification light there, even though you didn't have unread messages, it'll show several messages you've already opened as being unread. Uh, I haven't had a problem with that yet, so maybe it has been fixed. But otherwise, that's it. There's the new uh, uh, trending topic bar, which you can swipe to switch trending topics, and then you can tap on it to go into the timeline where those topics are included in tweets. There's the new composition screen and find your friends. So again, this has been Mark for Into Mobile. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little run through for the new update of Twitter for iPhone.